Um, so the reason why it's considered current carrying is because the electrons are moving through the wire and the protons are standing still. So it doesn't have a net, so the, the key point that you're bringing up here is having a current is not the same as having a net charge. Um, the number of protons here equals the number of electrons. So there's no net charge. However, there is a net moving charge because only the electrons are moving, not the protons. Um, okay, so, um, so that's what it means to have a current. So having a current doesn't mean you have more protons than electrons or vice versa. It just means some of the charges are moving and some of the charges are not moving. Okay. Um, now, I was just saying that uh, what's really happening here is that the electrons are moving through the wire, but remember that we're going to imagine a conventional current where it's the, uh, the positive charges that are moving. We imagine a movement of positive charges. So we're imagining here that the negative charges are staying put and the positive charges are moving to the right, even though that's not real, really realistic. It'll give us the right answer. So when we have a current carrying wire, we imagine that the uh, positive charges are moving to the right and the negative charges are staying put. That's what gives it a current but it doesn't have a net charge because it does have both positive and negative charges. Unless they specifically tell you that something has a net charge, we shouldn't assume it has a net charge. We know that electrons have a net charge because they have a negative which is not balanced by a positive. Okay, so normally, um, yeah, so normally wires do not create electric fields. So I think your first answer here was that you thought that the electric field from this wire would cancel the electric field from this wire, but in fact, there just won't be any electric field from here. One thing that might have been confusing there is you might have been confusing this with a, a capacitor, which is a picture that looks a little bit similar. In a capacitor, we really do have a separation of charges where there's more negative charges over here and more positive charges over here. And the electric field from the positive charges really does point up, and the electric field from the negative charges points up. Well, this would be a case where they wouldn't cancel, but they would reinforce each other. And if we had a separation like this, where there was positive charges on both plates, that wouldn't be a capacitor. But here, the electric field from the bottom would cancel out the electric field from the top. But that's only because we have a, a net charge here. Okay. Um, so uh, this would not create uh, electric field. Would it create a magnetic field? Well, yes, because it has moving charges. Uh, and notice here that um, only the only the positive current is moving. The negative charges are staying put. Let's think about one more case. Why is that the only the positive charges? I thought it was only the negative charges. Well, again, remember we're imagining a conventional current, which is a flow of positive charges. Oh. Um, so if we imagine the conventional current, it would be the positive charges that are moving and the negative charges that are staying put. It, it's kind of confusing to talk about. You're right. In the true reality of the real world, it's really the protons that are staying put and the electrons that are moving. But we almost never think about that when we're solving problems. When we're solving problems, we follow Benjamin Franklin's guess. Benjamin Franklin guessed that the negative charges stay put and the positive charges move. So that's what we're always going to imagine, a conventional current. The key point I wanted to make is, in any case, um, in, in a current, only one type of charges is moving. Um, so let's think about, say, a wire with no current. And let's say that the wire is motionless, a motionless wire with no current. And let's figure out whether it has a magnetic field and figure out whether it has an electric field. Well, would this have an electric field? Well, it doesn't have any net charge. The positive charges would cancel the negative charges, so there's no electric field. And would this have a magnetic field if there's no current? No. No. It has positive charges and negative charges, but they're not moving. And remember that, mag excuse me, Magnetism only comes from moving charges. And what do you mean between differentiating between motionless and, and, current, and having no current? A current is when the charges are moving. When I say the wire is motionless, I mean that the wire itself is not physically moving. Okay. For example, if this eraser represented the wire, mm -hmm. well, right now the wire is motionless, yeah, okay. and now I'm moving the wire. So one thing you can do is just pick up a wire in your hand and move it someplace else. Okay. That's not a, uh, an ideal example because you will see some problems in the homework and on the exams where, say, a conducting bar is maybe sliding along rails. So you can see kind of moving wires. All right. So in this case, this means that the charges are not moving, and this means that the physical wire isn't moving either. Um, so there would be no electric field and no magnetic field. Now let's say, let's go through a couple cases, and these would be good to have in your notes. Let's say that we have um, a 
moving wire with no current. So now the wire is moving, but there's no current in the wire. So for example, the wire started here, and then I move it with my hand to over here. Well, uh, and again, the wire is neutral overall, which is what we normally expect. Well, would there be an electric field here from the wire? No. Because there's no net charge, same as before. Yeah. Normally, we expect wires are neutral unless they tell us otherwise, so there should be no electric field. Now, here's something more different. Would there be a magnetic field? Um, and the answer is no. Now, some people would get this wrong because they might say, well, gee, if you're moving the wire, you must be moving the charges inside of the wire. So that should give you some. That's right. But that, that, that still doesn't quite answer the question because all that current means, current just means moving charges. So the question is, why aren't we creating the current just by moving the wire itself? Well, here's the reason. Um, it's true that when we move the wire, we move the charges, but we're moving both the positive and the negative charges. And those two movements cancel each other out. If both the, so right now, both the positive and the negative charges are moving to the left. Well, those two things cancel each other out, so there's, net, there's no net moving charges. So just moving the, the wire itself doesn't create a net current because the movement of the positive charges cancels the movement of the negative charges. So again, everything would be zero here. Now let's say we have a stationary wire with a current. Would there be an electric field? Um, yeah, I think that there would be. And what reason would there be? What, where would the electric field come from? Um, How do we decide if there's an electric field? From, from the net charge of the moving, moving positive charges. Now, who comes from moving, so w when does movement matter? Does movement matter for electric fields or magnetic fields? Oh, for, for magnetic fields. Magnetic fields okay. only. Um, the electric field depends only on whether there's a net charge. I the see. magnetic field depends on whether there's a net moving charge. I should have been, been clearer about that. We should have that in your notes. Uh, if you look at the handouts, you'll see that in the handouts, we said that source charges create electric fields, but only moving source charges create magnetic fields. So for an electric field, you just have to check, is there a net charge, period. Maybe I should put net here. And for magnetic fields, you have to check if there's a net moving charge. So for example, over here, here we had a motionless wire that was neutral. So there was no net charge, so there's no electric field. Here, it was still a neutral wire. So there was no net charge, so there was no electric field. Well, what about in this case? Would there be an electric field from this wire that's stationary but that has a current? An electric field, would that exist? How do we decide that? What we want to ask ourselves is, is there a net charge on the wire? Yeah. And we don't want to ask whether it's moving or not. Right. Uh, for electric fields, movement doesn't matter. Uh, well, uh, would we say that this, uh, this normal wire here is positively charged, negatively charged, or neutral? It's neutral. Yeah, that's right. It's true that the current represents positive charges, but there's still a bunch of um, stationary negative charges here as well. So overall, this would be neutral. Well, what does that tell us about the electric field? Does it exist or not? Zero. Yeah. The fact that some of the charges here are moving is completely irrelevant to the electric field. Mm -hmm. Movement only matters um, when, uh, for uh, the magnetic field, when we're looking at source charges. Okay, all right, now let's decide whether there's a magnetic field. Here again, we have a stationary wire with a current moving through it, um, so would there be a magnetic field? Um, well, there's, there's moving charges, but there's no net charge. It's true that there's no net charge overall, but now we have to ask if there's a net moving charge. So let's think about the conventional current. Um, does the conventional current represent moving positive charges, moving negative charges, or both? Positive charges. Yeah. The conventional current 
represents only moving positive charges. So is there, are there net moving charges? Um, yes. Yes, there are. So should there be a magnetic field? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, it's true that there's also um, an equal number of negative charges on this wire, but they're not moving in the conventional current, so they can't contribute. Um, so they don't cancel out the movement of the positive charges. So uh, I, I, haven't really, uh, I haven't really explained this uh, very clearly. What I should have said is, when you're thinking about the electric field, you pay attention to all of the charges. And you ask whether um, on, on net there's positive charges, negative charges, or zero charges. But when you're focusing on the magnetic field, you only pay attention to the moving charges. And you ignore the stationary charges. Uh, well, in this case, there are moving positive charges and no moving negative charges. Um, so there is no cancellation. Uh, they can't cancel each other out, so there is a magnetic field. 